Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 17 of Let's Play the Sons of Abraham DLC for Crusader Kings 2. Okay, we have a, uh, a brother who can get an education again. We could use him for opinion. Or we could educate him ourselves to try to... I don't want this guy to be... to turn into a Breton, even though that's a pretty good character. Um... I'm thinking we actually go with the Diplomat. The Peddlers are loading their wares. Okay, so apparently before I took over as my character, he did a Summer Fair. I think we're going to go on a few Grand Hunts to try to get rid of Slothful. My Kinsman needs a, a marriage. can marry him to my sister. That's lovely. We can marry him to the Princess of Nubia. Princess of West Francia. That seems like a pretty good marriage. Let's marry into the Carlings. Why not? We'll take the prestige, definitely. It's an extra two opinion with our court. So that should help out quite a bit. Now, the Earl of Tyrone has decided to make me a rival, apparently. Interesting. We could just revoke it, but... I think it'd be easier to kill him, maybe. No? It, it doesn't say anything anywhere. There is no section that can say, like, rivals, but apparently he's decided we're rivals. And we've got some other people who are just very, very unhappy about my negative traits. Slothful and Craven are both just bad. So we need to go on a, a, a couple hunts, and we need to get at peace to do that. So let's go ahead and raise up our boats. Not our boats, but vassal boats. So that we can split these armies off onto these separate places pretty quickly. Norway has 3,300 troops, so I'm kind of worried about that. But if he comes over by boat, then he'll have half morale. Fortunately, with 16 Marshall, one thing that we do see is that we get a big bonus to our personal levy. I mean... Owner Marshal plus 30, Capital Duchy plus 25. Like, every holding is going to have lots of troops. And it might make sense to start upgrading more of the things in this capital. I think we will do at least a couple. I want to keep some money in case we really get desperate and need mercenaries against this, this war. My previous character, I wasn't worried at all about winning this war. Um, this character, kind of, I am. So apparently 95% plot power to put Prince Merchad in, in power, my brother. A 14-year-old, brave, content, cruel, temperate, proud boy. I actually wouldn't really care that much. Oh, okay, so now we are getting a pop-up event when we capture someone in prison. But it used to be an event that would pop up and say these characters were captured. It's kind of not what I really wanted. You know, I don't really want a big pop-up for every imprisonment. But beggars can't be choosers, I guess. It's actually not enough boats, is it? So this faction I'm, I'm pretty concerned about. If it fires, it's, it's being led by my rival. If it fires, I'll probably just cave in. Here comes the East Icelandic fleet. And we'll move out to the island here, because that'll make it very difficult for the enemy to, to actually do anything about it. they try to land. Islands are very defensible now. Oh gosh, these spy masters are pretty bad. Let's scheme in uh, Tyrone, see if we can get him to leave that faction. Even though I wouldn't mind playing as that other character, I, I kind of don't want to. Who's he being educated by? 
The gray eminence. Okay, good. Well, if he becomes a, dip, a gray eminence, then he's... Oh my gosh! Pope Agatho has died and been succeeded by Pope Romanus. Who the heck is Pope Romanus? Mike... <laughs> so apparently our king bishop lost some of his secular power or something and ended up not not inheriting. So a couple random other people got put in and immediately got voted by somebody else. So never mind, we don't get to have a successful pope. This Prince Bishop, I wonder if maybe we could give the duchy. Yeah, I think now is a good time to do it. It's 200 gold, though. That's fine, I want it. You, sir, are now going to be the Prince Bishop. You can, can only create single county theocracies at most. Well, never mind that. I guess I can't. Ah, no wonders. That probably explains why it's having so much problems with king-level theocracies. So now we have the Duchy of the Isles that we just paid a bunch for. And we can't do anything with it. Let's give it to my marshal. So he'll still be a Prince Bishop. But it's not really going to do much for us. Kinsman son? If you could just surrender, I'd really appreciate it. Those boats are very expensive. We're paying 1.2 per month. That's like 14 gold a year. Just for the boats. And I only have like four of them raised. Hopefully we'll have enough to actually transport stuff. And those look like some pretty good people to ransom. Hey, we get an ambition. Well, I think definitely an ambition we are going to want is improved diplomacy, because that's part of the reason we're having so many people hate us. We need to get out of this war so that I can... Uh, oops, didn't mean to click on that. So that I can go on a hunt and get rid of my slothful traits and maybe Craven. Hey, there goes Craven anyway. And I'm pretty sure the only reason that we haven't seen the faction fire is because we're in this war though. You want to marry my sister to some old man of West Francia. All right. Sounds fine to me. Siege events are really tearing up this army. My brother wants an heir, a, mar a marriage. Uh, yeah, let's marry him to this petty queen of Wessex. Just moments ago, we had 500 more troops there. Looks like the College of Cardinals is, is occasionally filling up again. And you can see how quickly the, the faction lost support when I just got rid of Craven and some other stuff. Alright, well now we are... Uh, oh, he's got two wars. He's, def he's uh, attacking in the subjugation of Finland. And we we do now have that ticking war score for this land, which is good. My wife has died. So the Flanders ambition is over. Just some random, some other kid. He, uh, 
he's of House von Flanden Flanderen, just like she was, but um, she was never able to make kids, even though she doesn't really have any traits that make it seem like she wouldn't be able to. She got so depressed from not being able to make babies that she died. All right, new marriage trust then. Princess of Bulgaria. She's possessed. I like it. It's nice. Let's maybe pick a woman with high stewardship to offset ours. Oh, and we have a genius. Yes, please. 16-year-old genius. I'll take her. And we'll take the prestige. I'll educate this kid just so we have more martial type people in our realm. We need to span those boats and go beat up this army. I'll lead troops, because why not? If I die, that'd be fine. I think we'll actually stand down and potentially re like re-raise if, if I ever do see the army of Norway. Right now, he is off leading troops in Finland, so he doesn't seem to really be that interested in what's going on over here. Still stuck on uh, regular investiture. Yes, I love my wife. We could go Siege's capital. That might speed things up a bit. It's very low supply limit though, so I'd rather not. We'll just let the ticking war score do its job. Meanwhile, we actually could declare war and claim stuff on behalf of our vassals. She has how many troops? None. Well, that seems like a pretty good thing to do then. Oh, she's defending against heathens. Well, I don't want to spend piety then. Defending against a Jarl, and defending against Teviotdale. So this this guy here, a Norse character, is attacking over his, her, sorry, her claim on Scotland. What? Defending in the Teviotdale War for Odder, oh, it's Odor's claim on Scotland. Who's Odor? Okay, gosh, okay. Which claimant is it? Some claimant named Odor. This guy. So this guy here has a claim on Scotland, and this person here is leading the charge to put him in charge of Scotland. Well, fine. We're going to offer to join your war simply so that we can prevent it from happening. So that we can then attack you. And I am, my brother is now able to marry the queen of, the, the double duchess of Weiss and Kent. So she owns all of that land, wow. Well, we definitely want to land my brother before we give him that title, so that he uh, doesn't leave our court. So let's go ahead and give him Ulster. And then he'll, he'll do his own marriage. Fortunately, the AI doesn't try to flip things anymore, so since we betrothed them regularly, it kind of forces them to marry that way, and now there's a pretty good chance we can inherit all of England. Shrewd maneuvering, yes? And, uh, who are you? Why are you trying to take my land back? Let's go siege these two things. That way we can get a little bit of money out of it and hopefully end that war, because I want to attack her. 
Um, she is asking us to join a war. We will. She is at war with a single county guy. Not a big deal. Looks like Sejalin's getting involved in something. My Nettleson neighbor. Go me. Okay, my sister wants a marriage. The imbecile came of age. I'll find you some a nice woman. Let's get the best alliance possible that your imbecilic traits can get us. King of Navarra? He's kind of weak. The Duke of Aragon. How about the, a Duke in Aquitaine? That seems like a good idea. Congratulations. Yep, so we're seeing some Norse armies arrive, but nothing too serious. You want to be my court chaplain. Wow, you are better. But not as good as this other guy. Why are you a Lollard? Okay, cool. Well, we do still have the Dangerous Faction, but it's much weaker now. And we have a son, Legitimized Bastard, who needs an educator. So let's go ahead and let our steward do that, make him like us better. Our steward is the wrong culture, but I don't really care too much with a bastard. So, all right, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you again soon.